I'm looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy, by the way. That's, yeah. That's what that was. All right. Um, I showed, showed uh, some early renditions of Demon's Hex. Uh, golly, one of the earliest of these. And, and uh, I've made considerable progress on it, and, uh, and it, it's still not done yet, but I uh, figured I'd show off what, what I've done so far. And, uh, and I've actually got quite a ways into the battle system. For those who don't know, who, who weren't here when I first showed this off, this is going to, it's a, um, a, a Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy IX had a card game mini game. Um, it was Tetra Master in Final Fantasy VIII, and now I forget what it was called. <laughs> oh, no, no, it was Triple Triad in Final Fantasy VIII and Tetra Master in Final Fantasy IX. And uh, and so it's it's very similar to that in that uh, you know you got the, these hexagon shaped tokens uh, and you place them on a board and the enemy is gonna and and you're just battling against the enemy and the enemy I haven't worked on the enemy AI it's completely random right now but uh, but you know the goal is just to uh, capture the vast majority of the spaces on the board and. Uh, there's various um, various uh, quirks to it to battles. Like in this situation right here, if you if you notice, you saw this little uh, shield change down here in the bottom. Um, I'm I'm working on that. I want to get it to uh, appear on top of this spin a little bit, and then show you you know which one won out. But like this one has a three attack. This one has three defense. And you might, you might flip around the second. This will have to learn. Oh, yeah. Right so, you know, these two tokens, they had, this one has, I, I placed this one down, it had three attack, and this one had three defense, and uh, and it was, I was playing against uh, a defending side. Uh, these arrows indicate which which side of the token the enemy attacks, uh, or the, the tokens attack from, and since this one was attacking a blank one, that means he was attacking the defense, and I can show you the, uh, an attack, uh, move here in just a sec, but uh, and so this one spun uh, an indicator, you know that uh, you know the enemy had four had a two and three chance of successfully defending the the attack, and I had a one and three chance of successfully taking it, and I actually won. Um, and if I attack a, um, if I take moving uh, do a move against an attack side, you know it, that that ratio is flipped. Uh, in in, uh, in favor of the attacker, and I can show you that here real quick, and we'll see if I actually win. So, like this guy right here, and these two, they're going to face off two arrows, so both their attacks are going to go against each other, and I actually won. So, yeah, it's it's a pretty sim pretty simple concept. Um, I'm working on other aspects of it, like um, elemental properties and and uh, you know spaces with boosters. You know, like a space will have a plus one defense or a plus one attack, and so there'll be uh, different uh, um, aspects to that. And there's also e each uh, each board is going to have a random set of walls. So like these gray bars right here mean that you can't attack in those directions. Uh, so if you so you know if the enemy placed a, a, a token here, they wouldn't be able to affect either of these two tokens. And, uh, and that, that just you know adds a, another element of of uh, you know uh, challenge and, and strategy to to the game. And we'll just finish this up because I won because the enemy is not very good right now. Um, and I'm working on I, I'm working on making a story mode for this. I want to expand it to be more RPG like. And have a, a wide-ranging story with you know where you build up your your collection of tokens and and as you follow the story and defeat the enemy. And so you know, lots of fun. Um, but uh, you know I haven't haven't gotten too far into the story mode yet, so I don't have anything to show off there. And then something else I wanted to show is that uh, I, I'm doing what's called the one game a month challenge. Um, 
me open this up in another tab here and show you what it is. Um, Krister Katila, he's a, an indie game developer. He started this up la uh, in December 2012. And the goal is to make one game every month for 12 months. And uh, you know, he's gamified it to, to death. And so you know, it's a lot of fun. And uh, I, I tried starting it last year and got two months in and ended up not doing it. And so I'm trying again. I just finished my January game. The, the two games that I have here, the first one, Dragon Canyon, that's my January of this year. The other one is February of last year. And uh, so it's going to be replaced once I finish my February game. But, uh, but this one's just really simple and, and uh, one that I, I wanted to do more with but ran out of time. And this one is just a simple vertical shooter. And you got four different dragons you can pick from. They have uh, their own fireball projectile. And uh, I was experimenting with uh, enemy behavior. Um, I have a few more ideas in there. Like the vampire bats just kind of go back and forth. The red imp guys, they come off the sides. The black demon guys, they come from the top. And then there's these little death guys that appear below you, and uh, they'll uh, they'll kill you if you're not paying attention. But they they appear below you and and uh, <laughs> and follow follow your your horizontal movement, and then for a little bit, and then they'll shoot up. And uh, I, I need to I want to replace that with uh, right now it's just hitbox collision, and I want to replace it with pixel perfect collision. But uh, that would have uh, made me go over my time for January. But yeah, those are just the two games I've worked, worked on. Uh, uh, Demon's Hex is under constant develop, development. Um, this one took me probably you know, a day to two days or whatever total time to make. And it wasn't too bad. The one I'm doing for February is actually uh, a little more a little more serious. It's a, it's a game for um, it, it's it's going to be about uh, Oklahoma's ballot access laws. You know uh, how to form a new party or get a presidential candidate on the ballot that's not a Democrat or Republican, and just to kind of show off how difficult it is, because I'm I'm really involved in in that uh, that movement to get those laws changed, and so I'm working on a game to to just show that off, and I'm hoping to get it done for for a February thing and all. And my goal is to have the, have each of my month games done before these meetups because I just want to show off each one every every time because I just you know it's a good goal for me. Uh, it'll get me off my butt and actually working on them. So and so yeah, but that that's what I that's what I've got going on for right now. Any questions or? What are you making? I am using a uh, Hex Flixel or Hex Flixel, however you want to say it. H A X E. Um, it's a. Uh, it. The language is similar to ActionScript, um, but uh, it's it's a cross-platform library. It exports to Flash, to uh, iPhone, Android, um, the desktop uh, for Linux, Mac, and PC, and then a couple other targets. I don't know. JavaScript. And yeah, go, they they've got a, a HTML5 JavaScript exports now. And uh, I don't know if it has Windows Phone or not. I'd have to double check that one. But, uh, but yeah, so it's it's just I, I really I really like it. It's a good a good library, and, and it's it's something that that meets my needs for two D game development. Anything else? So 